Hey, right, what's up, guys? The Insane Game Freak here. Let's have a discussion video on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So, I kind of wanted to get into this because the PlayStation 4 Pro, I believe, comes out in a little bit over a month. Um, and there's been a lot of conversation being had about this system ever since it was announced. And the question I more have is how what does the longevity of the system look like? Now, granted, we won't truly know this until after, like, maybe the first six months it's out, but the reason why I bring it up is that, think about it, this is supposed to be, like, an in-between console. I mean, that's the way it's kind of being marketed. It's like it's for the pro gamer, that kind of shit. You know, 4K pushing and all that other crap. So, like, so the question is, it's like, okay, fine, it's an in-between system, but that means that you're expecting the PlayStation 4 generation to last another three years? I mean, because, and I thought we were trying to get, I thought we were getting away from the idea of, um, I thought we were getting away from the idea of having these long console generations. So I find it interesting that this is supposed to be like an in-between console. Uh, the other issue is that, is this, I would, I would, I would try to relate this situation to the new, to the new Nintendo 3DS situation. The difference is that the new Nintendo 3DS wasn't, leading graphically through like the gaming console industry like even as a handheld it wasn't shit when compared to the Vita in terms of like raw power but the PlayStation 4 technically as of right now would be versus possibly the Scorpio in the future and it obviously seems like the Scorpio is going to be taking way more of a jump to the point where it almost feels like a new console where here it just feels like it literally feels like a 0.5 or 0.25 console uh, the question then becomes well, how long, how relevant is this going to be? Because, see, the problem is that as a consumer and as someone who's looking to buy a console, because eventually I'm going to have, there are a few games I do want to play on the PlayStation 4, and that list is steadily growing as more and more games trickle out. Uh, I, As a consumer like me, where you don't have a PlayStation 4 period, you obviously don't want to go ahead and just spend $300 on the Slim when you already know there's a better version coming out in like a month. But then again, you don't want to buy this, and because of how little of a jump and change it is, uh, it get completely fizzle out because nobody bought the damn thing. And then here comes the PlayStation 5 or the PlayStation 4 Pro, Pro or some shit. And now you're sitting there with like, damn, I thought this was gonna be my future-proof console. No, I guess I should have waited six months and waited to see if it failed or succeeded to see whether it was justified in buying it. Because that's really what this is gonna boil down to. And that's what I'm saying, like, how long do you think this console is going to last just looking at it? Because it really just depends on how they plan to handle it. And there's been this whole thing where we want to keep parity between the consoles, and we don't want it to be where games can't run on the other console, can't run on the original PlayStation 4 or the Slim at this point, since that's supposed to be replacing the uh, standard PlayStation 4. The, the question then becomes, okay, well, we don't want to leave anyone behind, so it feels like your games are going to be slightly gimped, or you're going to completely pull ahead and end up lying. You're going to end up lying one way or the other. Where you're either going to hurt the Pro or you're going to hurt the original PlayStation 4. And so then the question becomes, do I do I want to risk that kind of money on a console that may go ahead and just fucking fail? I mean, this thing comes out, as I said, in November, right around the Christmas season. And I'm not going to really bang on the Christmas season being a justifiable understanding of whether this thing does well or not. Primarily due to the fact that the Wii U did really pretty decent. It sold like three million within like two months, which isn't bad at all. And then completely fell off a cliff. And so my my thought process is that maybe I should wait until like February at least to see where this thing is at. Because prediction wise, looking at it, this thing has a very high chance of going either way. Some people are not gonna feel like it's justified in buying the Pro because they'll be like, oh, we're playing 4K, and then they'll ask, well. Don't there need a 4K TV to enjoy 4K? Well, yeah, but it's not native 4K. And then people are like, wait a minute, but it's 4K. Well, it's, it's it's like it's upscale 4K. And then you get into like a whole bunch of tech shit that some people don't give a fuck about. Most consumers don't give a fuck about if it's native or not because most people don't know. But when you start getting into specifics and then it's like, well, mom, I want a PlayStation 4. And they give you a PlayStation 4 and they buy you like a fucking Slim or some shit. Well, it's like, well, okay, do I even want, like, is that is that a 4K? And this is why I was, and this is where all the, these questions are coming from. It's like, 
there's so much shit in the dark, primarily because of how small of a jump. I know people are going to get angry when I'm saying this. But how small of a jump the PlayStation 4 Pro is from the PlayStation 4 to the point where it feels like it's almost unnecessary. It feels like a waste of fucking money, in, in a sense, because it's like you could have just held it back for like another year and a half and then just made either a PlayStation, true PlayStation 4.5, or just make a fucking PlayStation 5. I mean, we're, we're supposedly on these short generations now. So why, why are our phones turning, I mean, why are our uh, consoles turning into phones? Um... If I had to make an honest guess, though, looking at how Sony conducts itself, it depends on how the marketing is for the pro is and how they can get their message across. Uh, so the problem is, and this, the, the, the other issue is, is that when you look at a PlayStation 4 game and a PlayStation 4 Pro game on a television ad or a YouTube ad, which is where most people are going to be seeing it, you can't really see that much of a difference. It's not like, it's not like there's extra features coming to these consoles. And let's be real here, most casual gamers don't really understand the concepts of frame rate and shit. So, like, it's, to me, the Pro is a harder sell because the Pro is more for a technical gamer, which casual gamers aren't. So, you can't expect this thing to have, like, PlayStation 4 numbers because the understanding of what it is is way harder to convey. How do you convey that this is a technically more powerful system, but you can't really show much in how it's technically better? I mean... Obviously, as gamers, some of us have looked at so many games, you're like, oh, well, that looks cool. But there's a lot of people right now that are on the fence or are like, fuck that shit because they already have a PlayStation 4. And that's an understandable thought process. So if I had to be fair to the PlayStation 4 Pro, it feels like it's going to like do okay and then just completely teeter off. And primarily because it, it's the same issue that we had when it first like, came out. you got to have games that really show off why you need a Pro over the original. And considering the Pro is already half of the reason why people don't want the Pro is because you don't have a 4K television. Well, that's already an issue in itself to get the full benefit out of it. And it's like, but oh yeah, but you're future proofing. Well, I was like, yeah, but I'm also spending $400 on a console that I already own. And considering most of the must have games that people will want on it right now, you can get on other platforms except for like a select few. And then the games that you would have been excited for aren't even coming out until later because, you know, Final Fantasy got delayed and Last Guardian got delayed and it's like, are we going to get a game anytime soon? Maybe? Yes? No? And so then that, that's an issue in itself. Um, so I'm just kind of throwing this out here and just throwing out these little tidbits just to see how everyone else is feeling. Because right now, it's like, if I... If I'm planning to get a PlayStation 4, probably for Persona 4. For, for, well, Persona 5 will be the game I get with it. But I'll probably be getting other stuff like Gravity Rush. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'll probably get Serene Cogger because I, I have no shame. Fuck you, I have no shame. Um, there's probably a few other games I got to go through the list and just see and check about. Uh, but my overall thought process is just kind of like, do I need, like... Do I get it when it comes out, or do I wait a few months? And I think, for me, and maybe for you guys personally, I would believe your best interest is to wait a few months because, to me, if the if the pro bombs, that's more likely to get like another iteration within like a year or some shit, because that's usually how it works. Like there are certain companies that'll just take that L and just and just keep pushing with it. Sony ain't that Sony ain't that company. Sony will probably just come out with another iteration. Um. So, just tell me what your guys' thoughts are on it in the comment section below. Uh, my Facebook and my Twitter. Uh, don't forget. I'm starting to use, I've been using Twitter way more consistently. Ironically, though, the reason why I'm using it more consistently is because I can get news quicker through Twitter than I can through Facebook or any of that other shit. So, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, Patreon, if you feel like supporting. I appreciate anybody who does. Um, another giveaway is happening this month for Patreon anyway. So, go check that out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been the Insane Game Freak. Life's a game. Play to win. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs>